Hello, my name is Daniel. And I'm Archie. And we are going to show you the, the little big history of the guitar. We are about to take a long journey from here to here. The Big Bang is believed to be the start of everything, from the first elements to us. A plethora of hydrogen and helium scattered across the universe. There are small traces of hydrogen and helium in the guitar, but we still have a long way to go and new elements to discover. The universe grows in complexity like this when certain requirements are needed, and they were met. It is called the Goldilocks Conditions. The hydrogen and helium started to create heavier elements and create giant stars made of gas. This gave room for newer elements. The stars release tons and tons of carbon, which is found in wood, and brings us one step closer to the guitar. The introduction of stars into our universe brings us to our next threshold, the new elements created from supernovas. A supernova happens when some stars die out and explode. The explosion releases tons of heavy elements, mainly gold and uranium. However, there is still tons of carbon that is released into the newborn universe. The amount of carbon overall has shot upwards with the phenomenon known as supernovas. About 4 billion years ago, our planet Earth was created. During its early years, it had large amounts of oxygen and carbon, which are essential elements for making wood. When Earth started to cool down, the elements for making trees would slowly bond together. About 3.6 billion years ago, we have our first trees appearing. Wood from trees is essential to make most guitars. Earth had a unique environment and special place in the solar system that allowed species to exist, dwell, and evolve into us. The early forms of humans created tools by stripping tree branches with curved rocks. This shows early forms of intelligence and crafting. They created axes to cut down trees. Other elements for the guitar weren't discovered thus far. Silk was used to make the first form of oud strings. The oud was a very early form of the guitar. Silk in the form that the strings were made out of was made in 2696 BC and was mass imported due to the Silk Road. The Silk Road was a series of trade routes where people would deliver silk and other goods internationally. It was very expensive due to the labor that was required to import it, so only the higher class people and royalty were able to afford them and turn them into dresses. Silk, however, hadn't come to Europe until the 13th century. This was when the out was made. In between the 70s and early 2000s, the guitar had reached its peak at fame. After this, its popularity slowly declined. When the modern revolution began in 1800, corporations were starting to mass produce guitars. Yamaha and Gibson are one of the biggest companies today and go back to the late 19th century. The reason these companies are so successful is because they are able to sell guitars at a low price for great quality. It wouldn't be long before people would start to notice how amazing these two companies are and start to buy their products. People started using nylon strings for the guitar after World War II. Before the war, we used catgut for the strings, but due to the heavy use of it in the war, there wasn't enough catgut to keep mass producing guitars, so companies switched to nylon. With nylon strings comes a new generation of playing the guitar. These nylon classics as they are known today were used to play styles like classical jazz and mellow rock, which started around this time period. More recently, Gibson is a household name for anybody who wants a quality guitar for under the $2,000 mark. Guitars can be extremely expensive. The most expensive guitar was sold for $2.6 million US dollars. People like Gibson guitars because they might not have a lot of money, but they can get a decent guitar for a decent price. Today we are seeing an absence of the guitar in modern pop music. In the future, as sad as it is for us guitarists, we see the guitar completely dying out in the pop scene in at least the next 10 years. Of course, there will still be amazing genres outside of the music that you hear on the radio today. Bands like Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Beatles, Metallica, and Foo Fighters will live on forever. The history of the guitar is a very interesting one. Let's hope the future is just as exciting.